Hey, what is going on guys? Today I am sharing with you my 2022 24 hours of Le Mans grid pack. Ladies and gentlemen, I said I was posting it on Friday, but I was going to record my setup tour video, but I'm like cleaning still fully. I want to clean my mouse pad. Uh, so that's being pushed back to Friday instead, so just swapping dates, but I don't think any of you are going to complain about getting this video early, so here we go. The link is down below as usual. This pack contains five Le Mans hypercars, which is of course what we have in real life, 19 LMP2 cars, and 18 GTE cars combining both Pro and Am together. I want to immediately start by saying you will need to purchase some of the mods in this video. For instance, you will need to buy the Chevrolet Corvette C8R from URD, the Porsche 911 RSR from URD, as well as the Aston Martin Vantage GTE. And as for LMDH, you will need URD's Toyota GR010 and Glickenhaus, as well as VRC's Rebellion R3. I'll leave the links to all the cars in the description below. Pretty much all the cars other than the Ferrari and the LMP2 cars I can, you know, have out for free. But these are truly the best of the best mods and, you know, why not use the best if it is available? This pack will have you driving as the 709 Glickenhaus. If you want to change your car to whatever you want it to be, just swap out the car you want to drive with the Glickenhaus as well as rearrange the grid if you're just doing a quick race. You don't have an LMH car starting all the way at the back. As well as the cars, I do have the track. I'll drop the link to it below. It's just the Circuit de la Sarth FM7 conversion. It's the best one we have in Assetto Corsa. If you're still on the race department one, then this will be a nice upgrade. The track surface, even being from Forza Motorsport 7, is a lot more accurate than the race department one. Now let's go over the cars that are in this pack. We have the both number seven and eight Toyotas. The number 708 and 709 Glickenhouses, the number 36 Alpine, number 25, 29, 1, 23, 28, 38, 31, 32, 22, 29, 9, 21, 34, 23, and 44 in LMP2. For GTE, we have the number 91, 51, 64, 92, 52, 63, 71 in GTE Pro, and 77, 88, 60, 83, 84, 56, 33, 86, 54, 46, and 98 in GTE Am. We have a massive grid for this pack, and of course it's a massive upgrade over last year as well because we were still using LMP1 cars technically, even though the Alpine is a LMDH car, it was still technically an LMP1 car, still in real life is technically an LMP1 car, but now we have the actual Le Mans Hyper cars for this pack. I should also mention that I have BOP'd the LMDH cars since I assume most of you guys will be racing in those, so you should have some close battles because the field spreads of them, the performance differences are a lot, so I have gone through and fixed them. I haven't done the same for GTE, but in my experience they've actually all raced pretty well together, so I don't really think it's necessary. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did download this mod, a like and a sub would mean a lot. Of course, I want to give a massive thank you and credits to all of the fantastic skin developers in the race department and Assetto Corsa community. As always, these packs would not be possible without their fantastic work. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.